So if you guys have seen my runner-ups for my favorite superhero, superhero movies of all time, um, now continuing along with my top ten itself, number ten would have to be, that's right, it would have to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Back in the 90s, this you can go anywhere without be, knowing what a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle was. And uh, this movie was awesome. I saw this movie, I think I was in grade 6 or grade 7, and uh, love this movie. I think I've seen this probably a thousand times, maybe more, maybe it was a thousand and two, I don't know. But uh, great movie, uh, like the cast, for those who don't know, uh, Corey Feldman did the voice of Donatello, which was pretty cool. And Shredder, I thought was uh, really cool in the movie as well. Also, I want to point out too. It's one of the only. It's one of the first movies I remember that had uh, prosthetic effects. I remember when I first saw these guys in the trailer, uh, being the stupid kid that I was. I'm thinking, boy, how how did they get all that makeup on? They must have just put layer upon layer of makeup on these guys. And then afterwards, when I realized it was animatronic, I thought, wow, I've never seen animatronic things before. So Ninja Turtles was one of the first things I remember seeing animatronic. Now, granted, you know, there's other stuff out there, but. First thing I remember. Love Ninja Turtles. Second one wasn't bad. Third one was crap. But uh, first Ninja Turtles, definitely. It's my uh, number 10 favorite superheroes. And I would also like to point out that I do consider this a superhero uh, category only because, you know, there's comics, there's cartoons, they fight crime. There you go. Uh, number 9 would be X2. X-Men 2, X-Men United. Um, not much really to say about this. I'm, I'm sure everybody has seen X-Men 2. Uh, I didn't really like the first one. The third one was alright. I just didn't like the fact that they had all these nameless mutants in the last movie. Like like an army of mutants attacking. Magneto is leading these, these, this army of mutants. You would think that they'd bring back interesting characters. Like bring in the Blob, bring in all those other guys. But nope. No, we just gotta have a bunch of teenagers flipping and jumping and whatever. But uh, I like X Men 2. X Men 2 definitely was, I think, the best of the three movies. It's been a while, actually, since I've seen the X Men movies. I think X the first X Men was on TV the other night, but. Yeah, definitely gotta go with X Men 2. And uh, number 9, that was number 9, and I'm moving my camera here. Number 9, that was X Men 2. Number eight would have to be Blade. I saw this movie about four times in the theater. Always loved Blade. I mean, the other two were all right. The second one was good. I didn't really like the third one. But uh, the original still holds up, I think, to this day. And uh, you couldn't pick anyone better than Wesley Snipes to play Blade. Loved it. And uh, Chris Christopherson did a good job as Whistler. Uh, what, we had Stephen Dorff in it as well. This is Frost. Great movie. Great soundtrack, I might add, as well. Probably one of the best soundtracks to a movie is definitely Blade. So that's number eight. Number seven, and a lot of people probably will say, what, what, what are you talking about? Number seven for me has got to be Judge Dredd. Now granted, this isn't my top ten of the greatest superhero movies of all time. This is my top ten favorite superhero movies of all time and Judge Dredd's got to be there. I, I've watched Judge Dredd tons of times and uh, it has cheese. Unfortunately it's got you know, it's got all the crappy humor with the uh, sidekick uh, Roy Sch Schneider I think. John Schneider? Who cares? Anyways I did always I, I, love, I love Judge Dredd and they are apparently remaking Judge Dredd so it's going to be interesting to see who they're going to cast in it. Uh, Stallone, no, unfortunately Stallone isn't coming back. But I think he looked awesome as Judge Dredd. And the Lawgiver, great weapon. I wouldn't mind owning a, a Lawgiver if, if I ever acquired one. So yeah, there's Judge Dredd. That's number, what are we looking at here? Number six. And number five, would have to be Batman Returns. This is definitely my favorite Batman movie of the first four. Um, I like the first Batman movie. It, 
it's not bad, but I gotta tell you, it really, it's pretty dated. I mean, you go back and some of the special effects in the movie are pretty poor. A um, couple, of, couple of examples, I mean, with the, the spotlight on the church, the Joker falling down off the, uh, the building, I think looked pretty bad. But uh, I love Batman Returns. Um, Batman Returns, I think, was a good cross between Batman 1 and Batman 3. Batman 1 was more realistic. Batman 3 was more the... What, he started getting into the campier kind of merchandise, plugging Batman. I think Batman Returns definitely was that middle ground. I liked, I liked the, the choice of the villains. Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer played great characters. Um... I even like the the little uh, missiles on the penguins. I think that was cute. I think that was neat. And, uh, I mean, this was probably one of the first Batmans that really got the merchandise. I know the first Batman did, but I think Batman Returns really, uh, I don't know. I definitely, definitely like Batman Returns. So Batman Returns is my number five favorite, favorite superhero movie of all time. And I was going to say horror movie again. Uh, number five. Four. Are we looking at number four? Yeah, number four. Definitely have to go with Iron Man. Now, this is the Blu-ray version of Iron Man. Um, if you have a Blu-ray player, I would say that's probably the best way to watch Iron Man. I have the Steelbook edition as well, but uh, I'm more partial to the Blu-ray version of it. Um, what? Not much to say. I mean, every, I think everybody has seen. I think everybody has seen Iron Man. Uh, Harry. What's his name? I was going to say Harry Connick Jr., but that's not it. What's his name again? Uh, I drew a blank, I'm afraid. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. I don't know why I forgot that name, but Robert Downey Jr., I think, did a great job. And uh, Jeff Bridges, awesome in it. I mean, Je anything with Jeff Bridges is a great movie. I, I argue with anybody that says that Jeff Bridges has made a, a crap movie. Um, on, a, on a side note, and it's off topic here, but on a side note, I am extremely excited to see Tron 2. Tron 2 is going gonna, is gonna to knock, I think, a lot of people's socks off. And I love the first Tron, but I'm getting off topic again. Uh, Iron Man definitely is one of my favorite movies. It's not my number one, but it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, so there you go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. What do we got here? Number three? No, it's number four. I'm getting off here. Number four, and I'm going to do top, the top three as a separate video, but number four definitely has to be Batman Begins. I mean, I I know there's going to be a couple of Batmans, and uh, I'll let you guys guess what's part of the top three, but uh, Batman Begins, definitely one of my favorite superhero movies. I've seen this movie... Geez, I don't know, 50 times, 60 times. Christian Bale was an awesome Batman. Uh, Liam Neeson, great in it. There's a bit of a spoiler. I'm going to leave it off just in case somebody hasn't seen Batman Begins. If you haven't seen Batman Begins, though, what are you doing, man? But uh, Batman Begins definitely, definitely is part of my top, top 10. And that was number four. So there we have the all of my favorite superhero movies leading up to the top three if you guys want to tune into my top three and uh i'll see you guys then